How can I make road bike rims survive tree roots on trails? It would be nice if there was in my area an extended network of bike paths on regular roads. Unfortunately the network is in its early phases, and given the speed it's introduced at, it may be another 100 years until it's done. But I'm not here to preach to the choir. Since bike lanes are a rarity, I generally use trails, even though they're not well maintained. Every few minutes, I'll encounter root damage. It's usually visible enough because they're highlighted with an orange marker. Tree root damaging bike trail. With a mountain bike I don't worry about hitting these obstacles, even when they straddle the path perpendicularly. The tires will take it. With a road tire on a road bike I'm less sure. What would you, do you do? If it seems like just a 1 cm, 0.5, protrusion and the tire is properly inflated, just fly over it. The rim will not become an oval after that. Nor will the aluminum rim have a nasty, and irreparable, dent. Reduce your speed, and go around the tree route. The unpredictable grass would in this case be more rim friendly. Avoid bike trails that have root damage altogether. Stick to city streets. At least potholes are easier to go around. Update. I see that lifting oneself off the saddle is the start, but beyond that it's unclear. There could be two things going on, and I'd like to confirm which of the two you mean. I could simply unweigh the seat two to three instants before I hit the route. The advantage then is that my weight would not be 68% rear and 32% front, or some other ratio, the point is that it's never 50 to 50, hence an increased chance to damage the rear rim. It would be 50 to 50, balancing the wheels. I suspect though that you'd do something more sophisticated. I could unweigh only one instant before hitting the route. Getting it right will take practice. Then I would also be pulling the bike frame ever so slightly up. I would not be flying. But I would yank up mildly on the handlebar. With clipless I'd also yank with my legs simultaneously. Still not with objective of flying, but to reduce the weight of impact on both wheels. Could you clarify? Simply unweighting the saddle is enough to roll over most tree roots even on skinny tires. On my 28mm tires I don't even need to bother doing that very often. You may want to lift the front wheel in severe cases, or on the very lightest low -spoke count front wheels.